Hi, it's Wendy. Um, we're going to go over how to make your own special uh, decoder wheel. It's, um, it's great if you just want to send some fun messages or secret messages to a friend or someone in your family. Um, I'm going to turn the camera down and show you what you'll be getting in your kit. Okay, here we go. You will be receiving um, directions. It just has a lot of explaining how you can set it up and maybe how you might want to use your decoder to send messages. A little information on the back, which was interesting, that um, Thomas Jefferson actually created a cipher wheel. This is many, many wheels of wood with letters on it, and they used it to send secret messages. And there have been decoding wheels and cylinders and devices for years, and some are very complicated. This one's really fun. Um, you and the person that you're sending your messages to will know um, how to decode it, so it's really great, and if somebody doesn't know that, then they won't be able to read what you're sending. So you'll get those directions. You'll also get um, the template on cardstock that you'll be cutting out, along with one of these small brass fasteners, and that's it. So if you look at this um, template, there's a uh, the big wheel, which is the bottom, and the middle wheel, and it's the same thing. They're both the alphabet. This one's just a little bit smaller, but they do line up. And then this is the top, which is just plain in the middle. It's just a nice added um, secure message measure to keep it all together. There is a middle wheel over here that has no writing in it. And that one is for you if you want to change it a little bit. Um, maybe you can't repeat letters, so it might be difficult. <laughs> maybe it's going to be symbols in it smiley faces, stars, things like that. So when people turn it, they'll find the, the letter that it's um, what lines up with. So you can decide that. I took my middle one that had no writing in it and I wrote my alphabet backwards, A, B, C, this way. So you can decide if you wanna try that or just use the wheels that are already printed. And that's what I did with mine um, that I've been making a message with here at the library. I used the wheels that they used. Um, so what you first wanna do is cut out your wheels. So I cut out these wheels um, and just went around. I mean, it's not perfect on my circle, but it's okay. And then each one has a little circle in the middle and you want to poke a hole through there. Be very careful. You can use a pencil or a toothpick or a pen. I found that the pencil was pretty good. I lined it up right in the middle and pushed through just a little bit. You gotta wiggle it sometimes. There we go. There. So there's my pencil through and that's my hole and you want them right in the hole. They really need to line up. Um, so be very careful. If it's a little bit crooked, you might want to slide them around a little bit. There we go. Whoops, that one's a little crooked, so I'm going to push it into the hole a little bit better. And then on my center, my middle ring that just doesn't have anything on it, that's just... So you're going to line these up. Put the brass fastener through your center on the little ring, then through the middle ring and through the outer ring. Now we're gonna spread these fasteners just like that. That's what opens it and it holds it in place. So now these can all twirl. And if you line them up, like we line up A over here, C on the other side, N lines up and O and P. So that's why it's uh, important that you try to make that as straight as you can in the middle to get it right into the middle. Now to use this decoder, if you'd like to send a message to a friend, make sure your friend has the same decoder or your uh, brother or sister has the same one and they know what you're going to be do, doing. Um, you will decide how you want to make a message. On these instructions that you get, I do have a picture on the back of I made a message. I wanted to write, meet me at the library. And so I started with the letter W and I turned my decoder all the way so that my A lined up with my W. All right. We go. Um, and I had to write meet me. So when I want to write M, so here's the word meet me. So I hold this really still. My A is lined up with my W. I don't turn it again. I go to the place where I want to write meet me, M. So I'll write the letter H. 
And I'll go to the letter E. It's a question mark. So M-E-E. -E. So it's a question mark, question mark. Oh, I know that that E is going to be a question mark. And that M is going to be an H. Let's find the letter T. T, it's an O. So this is my code, meet me um, at the. So I know that the T is already an O, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my O there and my O there. On the E, we already know is a question mark. <laughs> so that's pretty good. So I need my letter A. Oh, W. And I need the letter H is a C. So see, that's, I just go around and around. So this is what I would send to my friend or my brother or sister. I would write a piece of paper all by itself and just write this code out. And if my friend's name, make pretend my friend is William, they know to set their wheel so that their W lines up with A and then they can find these same letters and they will go from the inside and know what the letter is on the outside. So if the letter that we sent is H question mark, question mark, zero, they would go to H, C, M, and they would go to the question mark in the middle, and they know that that E and the E. So the reader looks at the middle circle. The sender, when you're making a message, you look at the outside. So if your name is Bob, and somebody sends you a message, you're gonna make sure that your B is lined up with that question mark. There we go. And now you're gonna look at the middle to see what they wrote you. All right, and if you're gonna send a message to somebody with a name that begins with a B, Bob, this is how you would send, write your message. So that's a really fun way to do it. That's in your instructions. You can line them up and just know, or um, maybe if you have one friend you're doing it with, you will send the message maybe with what day of the week it is. Uh, today is Tuesday, so you would line up your T with the letter A and then send that message on Tuesday, and they will know how to, to line it up too. So you might not have to do someone's initials. So if you want to send the message to three friends who also have a decoder, you just you need to decide um, how you're going to always send their messages, and it might be as a group. Maybe your group has a name, all right? So have special things already lined up with your friends ahead of time, and you can send them messages too. But it's really fun. I hope you um, enjoy it. And maybe even pick up a book to learn about more secret codes. It's pretty fun and fascinating and how it's been used over the years. So have fun. Good luck. Bye-bye.